was the father of a three-year-old girl. My son, Larry, he was home for a few days, and he was cutting our lawn for us. Mama said, girl, you won't get born to be a believer, tell you from the word go. That's what I love about these high school girls, man. I get older, they stay the same age. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. How you doing? <clears throat> Say, isn't that Buck's girl? Sure it is. What's she doing here with the dead kid? I don't know, man. Good jump on the ball. Slit your oh. goddamn throat. Oh. Give you count to ten, give me a reason why I shouldn't. Nine, eight. What? Don't be late. Oh. All right, all right, all right. What's getting yourself off? Welcome to my world. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Shoot me? Well, it had to be someone. <laughs> and besides, you keep calling out Nick in bed. Now, I promise you that they're going to treat her right. They know that she is going to be my future wife. Free sucker. This one seems for you. I don't say that because I read it in some goddamn manual. I don't know, goddamn it, what it's all about, but... <sighs> Anyway, back to the truck. I'm here for one reason. I want to know where El Cirujano is. Because he has my Coke, and I want my Coke. You, amigo, you've made some very bad business for us in Mexicali with your little screwdriver trick essay. Now, Sheriff, I know you're listening. Because a good law enforcement agent always leaves the radio on. Never know when you're going to need help reeling in that felon. You think the service prepared me for this? I mean, Laura, I don't know what I'm doing. And I haven't even booked the guy yet. How about you lay that shield on this table and vanish before you end up dead or in jail? I don't like your politics, Roark, but you do have passion, and that's something Carl Lee Haley sorely needs right now, and maybe so do I. Well, as you're being here, seems a bit like illegal client solicitation. What, with Carl Lee already having a lawyer and all? Baby, there's been no client around here for years, OK? This is just a couple of doors with too much time on their hands and too many beers. Now, I had a great summation all worked out. Full of some sharp lawyering. Oh, man, I'm not going to quit. I quit now and all this for nothing, no. You ever seen a big pepper? Shaped like a doggone corkscrew. Just like that. Like a corkscrew. That's exactly what they're trying to do to you. you don't do that to Tip Tucker and his tip top chucky. I'm a writer. I'm writing a book. Um, then they're doing research. I'm just about uh, how technology affects third world cultures. I couldn't live with the whole celibacy thing. You could, um, you could call me a man in a cloth. Without the clock. If you come back, you'll only be four years older, but over 50 years would have passed here on Earth. Ignore everything but the preeminent issue at hand, the wrongful transfer of stolen goods. Either way, we win. Here, this, all of this, all of this is not law. My home. Why, this case isn't about murder mayhem or massacres. It's not about anything that dramatic. This case is about knowing the difference between here and there. Oh, he still wanted me to stay on and work his crop. Hell, I was the best cotton picker he ever had. Just didn't want his beautiful daughter hooked up with the next con was off. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta scout our locations. We gotta get the best cars, gotta keep new tires on and plan our routes. And I can take care of the getting in and getting out. Because he knows his grease and every damn criminal between Canada and Mexico. And while you two boys are back there drinking and farting around, him and Avis are off scouting marks. First thing is, great name, Nick Decker. Nick Decker, you know, first time I heard it, I thought about the hot dogs. And then I saw him. 
He is a bit of a hot dog. Your name is Rad Thibodeau Ox. Here's my card, you know, so you know I'm for real. <laughs> In the meantime, you know, I am feeling kind of thirsty. My beverage is on the south end of the levee. <laughs> you know where Boomhound keeps his spare stash? All you got to do is tell him that so rad at AOL.com sent you. <laughs> I, I, I don't know about this whole 24-hour TV thing y'all got going, but if you are going to go forward with it, this is your mess. Get out. You can't have this tape. Get, 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 go on. Get your raggedy little Steven Seagal loving asses out here. Who's in this? Burt Reynolds. And you see, I can get rid of the Texas accent whenever I want. Or I can just slide <laughs> real deep on into it like this. Captain Dog, could you fill me in on what's going on, sir? I mean, we're obviously not going to the Caribbean station. Mr. Coon and our boys are submarine sailors, not combat marines. Do you think I got all the answers here? You think I know how we're gonna get out of this mess? I don't. I think we dive. We dive like hell and we get under them quick. We lure them a little bit closer to the continent. And range of Allied air cover. I really do. I mean, it's sharp, it's edgy, it's brutal at times. It's always a little juicy. It's, it's very New York. You know what I'm saying? I do like it. Head, heart, and loins. We're talking about using them. Am I right? Bert's right. Yes, Mary, I would love to dance. No pressure. No, it's too late now. <laughs> My mother put me in ballroom classes when I was eight years old, and she wanted me to be Fred Astaire, you know? I wanted to be Marcus Welby. What if what I think is great really is great, but it's not as great as something greater? See, he seems like he tried to take a shortcut. I earned it. Uh, he's, a, he's a barstool preacher. Got a hold of an unlucky lottery ticket. That was our family. Just the three of us, but us. We didn't mind, though. We didn't need anybody else. Now listen, this may sound a little bit crazy, but. I know who the God's Hand Killer is. But in the failing light, they can't focus. Feed on death. There's no middle ground. Not for them. Not for us. Look out the window. Eden's not burning, it's burnt. Congress has attempted to strip the executive department of its essential power. I have been abused. I have been slandered. I have been maligned. I am right. I know I am right. And I am damned if I do not adhere to it. Now, DeLauer dominates the world diamond market, meaning if I represent them, I basically represent the entire industry. I work mostly with alcoholic beverage and athletic equipment companies, and I'm trying to break into the jewelry market right now. So I turn around, right? I turn around, you be the guy, Troy, you be the guy, okay. okay? I turn around, I say, hey, hey, hey. Nobody wants to see your dong, dude. Lady, nobody makes oil out of babies. <laughs> Look what I need. I need chromosomes. 10 months you hadn't said it one time. What's his condition? Why is he crying? Why is he hurting? Because he's a dwarf. Carol, he's a dwarf. I'm gonna do my best. Oh, Laramie. Hey, Matt. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Nice to meet y'all. Thanks, right. Matt. Zach, take care of them. Y'all have a good night. Are you okay? That one was given to an old family friend of Davis, a brilliant young sea captain named Mason Toombs. Captain of the CSS Ironclad, Texas. We're gonna drive north about three hours till we hit the flatlands. 
From there, it should be a relatively easy drive to the Algerian border. Well, that's a new one. I remember looking back at the Earth and thinking how far, far away it was. It seemed very unreal for me to be there. I said to myself, this is the moon. From Wall Street to Tokyo to Hollywood, all your big money is going to stay and play with me. That's right. That's why they call me the Million Dollar Man. And I talked to Denny. I'm flying you and him out here next month. First class. I'm going to put you up at the plaza. You're going to meet Tony. You're going to meet Walter. You're going to love this joint, Ma. Yes, sir, I am. Look around. This man. is your place. It's your shop. Walter's shop. I understand that. I'm just saying, feed the horse, baby. <laughs> huh? Maybe 10%. The thing is, Mom, Dad, I've lived upstairs since I was three. <laughs> And it's been great. Same thing that always happens. Everything has gone along nice and smooth. We're having a good time. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, whoop, she gets serious. Now, this was like a big, oversized, like, bobcat, grizzly bear, chip monkey. Um, I'm pretty fortunate to still be here. First time for everything, Don. And if we're going to survive, this has got to be one of those first times. And you're the only man that can do it. I'm Coach Jack Lingle, guys. And normally I'm bad with names, so the good news is I may actually be able to keep you fellas straight. If it's a miracle you're looking for, uh, well, you should keep looking, because you're going to end up disappointed and I'm going to end up out of a job. <laughs> oh, we know for a fact that he survived a hurricane, a shipwreck, starvation, pirates most likely, and then he lied about it. If you guys take me to Big Bunny, it's going to look a lot better than if he finds out I'm alive from someone else. Like 1780 something. I mean, Sebastian beat them here by uh, almost 70 years. Because now I owe you money, and you know that I'm good for it. Yeah. Say it for me one time. You m -m 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 make me happy. happy. You want me to let my client of 15 years, one of my best friends, die. And more like, what do you need less? Glasses? Brother, I got no trouble shaking a surfer's hand. <laughs> mm. Whoa. Right, you can't forget the dude part. Let someone know what kind of dude is asking to go surfing. <laughs> yeah, it makes you feel all warm and relevant, but in the end, love leaves you weak, dependent, and fat. Oh, you're not real. No, you can't be. You're, you're just a repressed memory, activated by all the booze. I can't believe she called me on my crap like that. That is not at all how I remember it. Hey, there we go, Charlize. That's the winning attitude, huh? Way to look on the bright side. We've already got new relationships, new friendships, right? They want to nibble. All right, there is a difference between mowing down Mexicans down here south of the border than mowing down the big boys up in uh, the major leagues. Any powers, it is time to quit tickling balls and start sucking your dream's dick. Yeah. You may have to do some jail time, Gloria. I can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. He's a fugitive from a grand jury down in Florida. The DA wants him for drug trafficking. And Leslie, they want him a lot. Because if you screw up and he goes to prison, you're never going to be able to live with yourself. Mm -hmm. So there's only one verdict you can put on the board, baby, and that's an NG. What are you now, the goddamn lawyer? You said it wasn't yours. What you should have said was, I had a knife, Mick, but this isn't it. This ain't San Francisco, so around here we got a lot of closet homosexuals. And I know of at least two men he had relationships with that were heterosexual. Were. No, no, no. The retainers for the money. I'm not leaving until I get my money. Is he tall? Is he fat? Is he Chinese? <laughs> Where does he work? How old is he? Do his ears hang low? Is he unlike other men? Tell me. You probably noticed that Dottie and I have been spending an awful lot of time together. Fact is, we've fallen in love. That is unfair. I don't care to hear excuses or placement of the blame. Wow, well, you're down here squirting fire like a dragon's pussy. Well, there's no time for a pep talk. I would like to take a knee here with you and say a prayer.
Give him strength of fist to stay among the stroke, that you relax his throat to, to embrace this bulging opportunity. The only one you need to talk to right now huh? is me, baby. The only one I need to talk to? I'm the only one. I'm your mercy. I'm your arms wide open. I'm your pants. Sounds some book deal. Hero to new journalism or some kind of shit. I don't know. I ain't up here about thieving, Mr. Van Wetter. I'm up here about whether a man's life needs to be taken or not. You can call me a hobo because a hobo will work for his living. You can call me homeless because, well, that's true for now. But you call me a bum again, I'm going to teach you something about respect your daddy never did. First time I saw her was on this river, stuck from here. She saved my life. But I need a boat at least this big to make it on the open water. It's got no title, no owner, and nobody looking for it. It's my best shot. Run props tonight. Do whatever Mikey tells you, whatever any of the guys tell you. Clean the fucking toilets, whatever it is, all right? Tonight. You are the one night stand, that free fling of a fuck that they get to have tonight with you on stage and still go home to their hubby and not get in trouble because you... Well, that too, the law says that you cannot touch. But I think I see a lot of lawbreakers up in this house. Right? Everybody's writing songs with synthesizers. But I don't have a synthesizer. You made a fucking mistake. Must have. Mixed up my blood samples with some daisy puller or something. Cause that yeah. shit ain't me. Screw the FDA. I'm gonna be DOA. What, I gotta, I gotta sue the hospital to get my medicine? Yeah, I did abuse it. All right, but I'm off it now. Look at me. I'm here, feeling great. And I'm not the only one. It's as simple as that. I promise you, Doc. Come on, try it with me. Uh, we don't start dialing at 9.30 because our clients are already answering the phone. Three, two, one, let's fuck! It was January the 3rd, 1995, my daughter's birthday. I remember. An attachment of physical lust to fantasies and practices forbidden by society. You get that from one of your books? I did. Well, I think Tuttle recognized the scene. That's why he came down there, Jiminy Quick, with the fucking task force, and that's why he tripped out when I talked to him in 02. Programmed with total assurance that we are each somebody. When in fact, everybody's nobody. Sometimes you gotta go back to actually move forward. I've been driving a Lincoln since long before anybody paid me to drive one. That's a big bull. Because you're on four legs and I'm on two. And I'm driving. That's why. Murphy's Law doesn't mean that something bad will happen. What it means is that whatever can happen will happen. And that sounds just fine with us. Well, we used to look up in the sky and wonder at our place in the stars. They saved us. <laughs> what the hell is they? And this is why they want to help us, huh? Oh, you're not prepared for this. <laughs> Quit scrolling. Quit streaming. Start dreaming about V. H. S. Peak traffic time takes me 1.62 hours to get here. I don't mind. Number one, I like to drive. Number two, I like to talk to myself when I drive. Selfish husband. Mm. She was an alcoholic, a functioning alcoholic, which supposedly made it okay, but she was, she was horrible to me sometimes. Follow it that way. It'll bring you back to the parking lot, okay? Yes. Yes. Go. Do I have a Lando voice? Han, solo. He's that way. I have a Lando voice. I got it, boy. It's gonna be all right. It's all right. It hurts. I know it hurts. All right. Just hold on to me tight. Hold on to me. Whatever's at the end of this BB, that's what you're aiming at. That's what you're gonna hear. Where we gonna go, huh? Go where? 
Oh, that's good, Will. Not sure I hate to be fighting and forgotten. And many years ago, I was cursed. Trapped in, in this cursed state. Cursed to wander the far lands. Cursed or cursed. First question, if I'm Beetle and you're Monkey, why isn't he called Boy? Real talent from real life. That's what audiences want, and I'm gonna get it to Yes, just imagine. Big, soulful guy like you tenderly playing the keys. There'll be goosebumps everywhere. Why? Black. But well, you, you wouldn't ever want to think you're going to a funeral? Think you're some kind of artsy-fartsy type? No, 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 no. Bingo. Pop star princess. We're almost for almost there. All right, look at this. A couple bedrooms on that end, a couple bedrooms on that end. Hey. Look at this playground for the kids, huh? Yeah. How many kids do you want to have? All right, I sincerely apologize to everybody and anybody that lost on their investments. <sighs> oh, Mike. And now, if you'll take a second look at the geo, you will see what I see. And that's money. You have nothing to be afraid of, my friend. Death is not far away. Well, it looks like I've got myself a stalker. Both know that no matter who crosses the finish line first, the universe will die out eventually. Death always wins. You're fine, Ma's fine. I Don, hate you. you're fine. You're gonna let her talk to you? I'm going to the goddamn house. Hey, stay out of it. Put some clothes on, will ya? We're going for custard. Eight pounds, 14 ounces. It's what you weighed when you were born. First time I looked in your eyes, I knew you were gonna be bigger than me. I knew your life was gonna be bigger than mine. You're out here. I like to say, Everybody knows everything. I can feel him this time. I can feel him. Sometimes we do bad things for good reasons. Give me a uh, Lucky Lotto and a cigar, would you? Sure. You don't sell acid, dude. No. That's too bad, man. I write poetry. I like that fun, man.